Hi, everyone. Welcome to Domain Sherpa, and thank you for tuning in to the podcast with the best domain name and digital asset content in the world. Today's episode is a Domain Sherpa review titled Talk That Ish, where we have Ish Millie on the show for the first time, along with Shane and Drew. We talk about Ish's journey in the domain space and what he's gone through and done to find success in the industry. And then we play the domain game featuring care.net, eastfield.com, nouns.org, and 3252.com. And then we've got the name Jack in a Jet segments sponsored by Namejet, and we talk about some domains coming up for auction, including heartscience.com, aquafarming.com, sportstherapy.com, and seniors.org. And then we talk about Ish's upcoming domain conference, which is Domainer Expo, which is happening soon in Las Vegas. So go to domainerexpo.com and find out more about that. And remember, if you're listening to the audio version of this podcast, you can also watch the video version at DomainSherpa.com and then our YouTube channel at DS.TV. You can also listen to the shows on Apple and Spotify and other podcast platforms as well. So please make sure to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and all that good stuff everywhere that you can and help Domain Sherpa grow the pod. We also integrate our shows with Muse.ai, which provides search functionality for the shows and transcripts as well. So definitely check all that out. And big shout out to DNWE, short for Domain Name Wholesale Exchange. It's a trading platform designed specifically for domain investors, streamlining the process of buying and selling domain names to make it quicker and easier. With a community of over 3,500 investors, DNWE enhances market liquidity, facilitating more efficient transactions with standard domain listings, reverse auctions, standard auctions, and soon to be added portfolio auctions, which will include traffic portfolios. DNWE is part of EW3N, a family-run digital asset investment company based in London, England, that also operates DomainManage.com, which is a global sales platform, and Brandable dot uk which is a marketplace for uk and co.uk domain names and shout out to our own business media options the number one domain brokerage in the world find out more at mediaoptions.com where you can also sign up for our newsletter for the best domain names and domain opportunities available in the market every week and also featuring key insights and other helpful information related to branding naming and domain investing all right with that it's now time to get into this episode of domain sherpa where all roads lead to domains where we're going to talk that ish What's up, Sherpa Network? Thank you for tuning in today. My name is Jonathan Tenenbaum, a.k.a. JT, a.k.a. J on, a.k.a. Sherpa Winfrey, host and producer of Domain Sherpa, where all roads lead to domains. Today's show is a Domain Sherpa review, where we get into the minds of successful domain investors using real examples to learn strategies and tactics to become more successful domain name investors ourselves. These are the experts, the OGs, four segments to a Domain Sherpa review. We've got the grand opening. That's where I intro the Sherpas. Hit them with some AKA, see what's going on with them. Talk about some related things, some unrelated things. Then we've got the domain game. That's where we hear about the Sherpas recently bought or sold. Everybody guesses on the price. We keep scoring eventually, someday, some way, somehow, get some swag to the winner. Then we got Namejet Gonna Jet, sponsored by our friends at Namejet. We review a list of domains coming up for auction, see what the Sherpas like and what they don't like. And last but not least, we got grand closing where we'll discuss anything we haven't covered already, what's going on in the domain space, looking at the market trends, current events, allowing the guests to mention, promote anything they want to talk about that we have not already discussed. Today's an exciting episode. We got some new blood, some fresh meat. So let's go ahead and introduce the Sherpas over to my right. I got my boy Shane Coulter, a.k.a. Sugar Shane, a.k.a. Honey Shane, a.k.a. Mike Rowe, a.k.a. Blame It on the Shane, a.k.a. House of Shane, a.k.a. The Blue Oyster Culture, a.k.a. The Culture Personality, a.k.a. The Culture Club, doing it for the culture. What up, dude? How are you? I'm good. I'm in Naples, Florida. I'm down in Naples today. Naples. I wanted to go to the beach, I wanted to go to the beach a couple of days. I'll be in New York uh, on Thursday, NYC for a couple of days, so... I brought my bird. That's Kiwi in the background. It's his Kiwi. 30th birthday. Kiwi, a.k.a. 29th. the parrot, a.k.a. the macaw, a.k.a. you know, say it twice, a.k.a. Does, I, does I mean, Kiwi I'm sure your normal story is driving your bird 19 hours down to Naples for the winter. I, I'm sure it's a story everybody knows. So but that, that's, that's the life of a domain investor. You can be anywhere, <laughs> do a podcast, talk domains, you doesn't matter where you're at you can if you need to take your bird you can still sell domain names on the way hey man i love it so kiwi welcome to the show kiwi does does kiwi talk like can you get it say is it here i got kiwi i got kiwi.co i'll let him know i'll let him know uh yeah he he does talk he he 
generally it's just he says all the time, "Kee wee 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 wee." All yeah, motherfucker got a catchphrase. I love that all night. And then he says "ouch" a lot because when he was younger, he used to bite. We used to have him at the nursery, and he'd bite people, and they'd say "ouch." And so the point you get up to him and you pet him, he'd just go ahead and get out early. Ouch! Before you even pet him. No way. Yeah, I like it, man. He's just hanging out too. It's not even like there's. He sleeps in here all night. I'll I'll wake up and he'll be at my feet and scare the shit out of me. Like he'll come out of the cage and just sit on the edge of the bed. (laughs) Oh man, bird life! I love it, man. Well, that's what's up. Bird life. All right, well, we'll talk more about pets and all things, you know, we'll even maybe try to tie it to, I mean, we got a handful of animal domains, you know, so, um, you know, and obviously there have been a lot of different sales and, and you know, stories and there's plenty of domain stories around animal names, but um, that's uh, that's what's up, man. Well, welcome to the show, Kiwi and Shane. Always great to have you here. Let's keep it moving so we can get to the special guest down to my lower right, though. First, we got my boy Andrew Rosner, aka Morpheus, aka the Dirk Diggler of Digital Assets, aka Bob Lee Swagger, the Sniper, aka Drew. Drew got what I need, aka every Rosner has his thorn, aka never gonna give Drew up, aka Greybeard, the Domain Pirate, aka Lobster Claw. You know what I'm saying? Dude, call him dude Lobster Claw because he's sharp, because he's sharp and he'll get you. What's up, man? <laughs> we, I call him the cleaver after our restaurant. I was telling oh. the, I was telling the story the other day is the cleaver. Oh, dude. I mean, yeah. trying to buy the meat cleaver off the wall in the restaurant in Austin, like rusted ass cleaver, and like was so adamant about it that it got uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? It was like, dude, come One on. One of man. my favorite stories of all times. Like it, you know, and again, we won't we'll we'll get to ish here, but you know, just sitting around with what? friends, having a good time, doing what we do and doing what we do even while we're eating, negotiating. Trying to buy things that people don't want to sell. You know, that's the whole thing. It just, it it irks me when I find a person that doesn't get it, which is everything's for sale. Oh, you don't want to sell your cleaver? That's your problem because I just made you an offer. So if I make you an offer, now that cleaver's for sale. It's only a question. What's the price? So it don't matter if you say, oh, it's not for sale. All that is, is a negotiation tactic. That just means, oh, I got to pay a higher price. That's all it means. But there's no such thing as it's not for sale. If I have a bona fide offer and I slap it on the table, nothing you can do about it. There's only two outcomes. Either I'm going to walk away with the money or I'm going to walk away with the goods. That's it. And you got the same outcome. You're going to walk away with the goods. You're going to walk away with the money. There is no third alternative. There's no universe in which you can say, oh, oh, it never happened because I don't want to sell it. No, you made a conscious decision. Oh, you don't want to sell, you know, I don't know, your great grandmother's uh, heirloom, you know, cherry wood desk. Too bad. I want it. I made you an offer. Now it's for sale. Just a question of price. The moment there's a bona fide buyer for anything, it doesn't matter if it's for sale, not for sale. This is, these are illusions. If there's a bona fide buyer who makes a bona fide price uh, offer, the moment that happens, you're sitting in a negotiation table, whether you like it or not. And if you choose, <laughs> oh, it's on like Donkey Kong to say, at that point. If you choose to say no, I don't want to sell it. Then actually, what you did, and I love it because I'm we're gonna get all the haters and say no, 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 that's not true. Blah, 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 blah. No, the moment I make you an offer. And you say, no, I don't want to sell it. What you did was you bought it for the price I just offered you. Period. Yeah. End of story. Yeah. You bought it. It's yours now. It might have like been yours I... before, but now you bought it for a higher price. So that's all it is. I wanted the cleaver. They didn't get it. And so I, you know, I had to I had to keep up in the ante, try and get them to, you know. So, it it the, so he bought the restaurant. And it comes with a cleaver. <laughs> exactly. Fine. I will buy the entire restaurant. That's how I got. And that's that kids is how I got the cleaver. And that's how Drew <laughs> became a restaurant owner. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that would, that, that would be a wild story. All right. Well, let's go ahead and introduce a special guest. Yeah, like you, I you said. remember, you remember, uh, uh, the, in the top of the last crypto cycle, uh, was it SPF? was like oh yeah yeah it was like bought the club like in line at the club or something and they were like yo 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 you freaking you know you fat geek you can't come in here like and he was like 
oh yeah and like bought the club or something <laughs> seriously bought like he's like i'm sick of waiting in line i'm gonna buy the whole club that's a gangster move when i heard that i was like all right i'm gonna get down with ftx and all that kind of stuff well but that was Little exactly did the moment we, know. we should have realized oh <laughs> shit i better pull my money off ftx i know that was I know. it was exactly that moment when we should have realized i know but i i instead i thought nope i'm leaning in i'm leaning into that just out of principle yeah. and it turned out to be a mistake but you're right that should have been the moment to be like mm, this is probably not the dude that you want to be you know safeguarding your money your investments and your yeah yeah he your clearly life. has misguided views of you know how to allocate capital honestly we should have realized it the first time you actually heard dude talk or saw him like on a video you know what i'm saying and we were like yeah, yeah. and it's like we you know there was a point where you're back. like oh that quirky shit's cool man that dude's a genius like then you realize oh no he's actually not a functioning human being and he's kind of a piece of shit so now it's like oh now we're all fucked yeah you got that yeah the, the, the moment we saw his troll girlfriend i mean that that should have been like the you know what i mean that was like well, that was a bit yo. of a big red flag you know hey yeah, look we saw that terrible hey, girl wanna, it should have been like okay okay you know houston we got a problem dude well How that happened to us we, this was back when we were in the farming piece in the d5 farming we first got introduced in the solana stuff shane you remember we walked through the steps and whatnot oh yeah and i remember there was one coin we got busy with it was step Radium. coin or something and we were oh, way yeah, heavy yeah. in it and i remember drew sends me the picture of he's like yo check the founder out and i like saw a dude with this fake versace like just some crazy weird shit that looked mad cheesy and i was like yo i'm dumping my shit right now i'm yeah. not i don't want to own this coin for another second and yet it, and we it. didn't we didn't balk it at 928 percent interest thinking that that sounds reasonable <laughs> yeah i was like hey i better get that kind of yield that's a baseline I mean, what are you about? <laughs> that's 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 totally legit we don't have a problem with that but the fur coat i don't think i want to be in now <laughs> exactly i'm yeah. like yeah the yield yeah. not the problem man it's the vibe hey but let me go ahead and introduce ish because we're doing a lot of talking and i haven't even gotten through all of my stuff yet all right, below me for the first time on the show, one and only, we got Ish Millie, a.k.a. Talk That Ish, a.k.a. Scratch That Ish, a.k.a. Millie Maker, a.k.a. My First Millie, a.k.a. Ish Meek Millie, a.k.a. Ish Millie Bobby Brown, a.k.a. Ish Millie Cyrus, a.k.a. Ish Millie Vanilli. Blame it on the rain, don't blame it on domains. Feel me? And uh, for, the, <laughs> for those of you who don't know, my man is a domain investor and entrepreneur. He has definitely come up in the space and, and put in a lot of work since back in the clubhouse days and uh, social media maven, all around hustler. I'm a, I'm a hustler and knock the hustle for real and uh, has really, uh, you know, made his mark both as a, uh, you know, through some of the sales and the success that he's had. And also with his, uh, you know, big personality and just really stepping in the space and, and making himself known in a really positive way. So, Ish, welcome to the show, man. It's great to have you on here. How you living? Man, thanks for having me. This is an honor. Um, just being around legends, um, you know, I just feel like this is this is good. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to be here um, and, you know, chop it up with you guys, you know, share some of my challenges as a domainer some of my wins and you know i'm still learning so it's yeah, very yeah. i'm very flattered to be here thank you for having me oh man of course of course well look you and i've met in person and uh i know you're a good dude uh you know you kind of came onto the scene back in the clubhouse days when all that stuff kind of popped off and um you know and i think we everybody goes through this journey Yeah, the first right? thing we did was went for drew's neck let me let me let me let me uh uh let me give a little solilo soliloquy here uh because i got some comments uh well first off just apologize to everybody because i'm sick as hell i've been sick for nine days i got pneumonia i'm on the up and up now but i got banged up it was no joke Probably the most sick I've been in 20 years. So I'm going to tail into that. I'm going to be lower energy than I normally am. But I'm very excited to be here. Very excited to have Ish on the show. And uh, Ish, you are a special guest for us. Uh, for me in particular, uh, you know, I think you, you, you represent a lot of things about the space. About, let's say, the, 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 the space as it is today. Uh, that are really positive really good um i can't even be as witty as i usually am because I'm, I'm my brain is cooked like scrambled eggs but anyways when we first met as you were just saying i was like man this dude is a punk like fuck this guy 
you know, I, I heard you, you know, the, this was COVID, you know, beginning of COVID and clubhouse pops off. All of a sudden people are on clubhouse. There's a clubhouse for everything. And, uh, you know, there's a few people in the domain space starting clubhouses, but they were real small, but you had an audience from, I don't, you know, whatever you were doing before, but you had an audience. And so you were doing these clubhouses and you were getting pretty big numbers of people into these clubhouses. Right. And so I was like, all right, you know, a couple of people had told me probably Shane and told me, you know, you gotta, you know, get in there, talk it up. And, um, and there was a lot of stupid ideas being shared in the clubhouse. And so part you know, I came in there and somebody brought me up and I was just listening and listening and y'all were, you know, rapping about, you know, dot club. And it was like, you know, I just heard all the domains that were trying to buy and the bullshit that they were preaching about what's going to come, you know, to come up on dot club and you know, dot clubs and new shit. And that's going to be the hot shit. speculations. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just like, all right, look, I can just see all, you know, like number one, you got to understand where I'm coming from, which is. You know, I bought Domain Sherpa because I'm trying to grow the pie, right? I volunteer a hell of a lot of my time doing this to try and educate people, to try and grow the pie, right? And so for me, for some somebody new to come into the space and drag a whole bunch of hundreds or thousands of people with them, that's a dream come true. It's like, shit, here we are. We've arrived. This is what I'm looking for. This is, this is what we need. But then I hear you preaching about all this wild ass shit. And I'm like, all right, I need to get in here and bust some so then I jump in and I'm like, look, put the brakes, you know, pump the brakes. Y'all are completely off on, on, you know, what's what you think is going on here. And, uh, this dot club shit is not where it's at. And, you know, no offense dot club, but like, you know, I, I own some dot clubs. I even own I dot club, but it's still like. That's a wildly, wildly speculative bet right. that I can afford to take because I got, you know, oodles and oodles of other super premium domains. But it's not the one I'm trying to bet my house on. It's not the one I'm trying to, like, roll the dice on, Definitely. you know, to make it. Right. And so I heard all these people talk about, you know, Doc Club and this and that. And I'm like, all right. So I hit, you know, pump the brakes, I'm trying to, you know, get into it. I'm trying to be polite and, like, explain the way you should be thinking about it and here comes ish and Ish is like nah you know you don't know what you're talking Protect about man, you just <laughs> listen to these old listen to these old heads trying to tell us what's good they just try to keep that money from us and it was all this shit and i was like nah uh and so then we you know we, we were like you know we were banging heads hard uh and uh you know i basically wrote you off i was like Man, this motherfucker, he's just going to ruin it for all these people. All these people are going to show up to the mains. They're going to get burned on their dot club bullshit. And then that's it. They're going to exit and never come back, right? And uh, just like people in crypto, you know, they, they they show up. They're like, oh, I missed the Bitcoin train. Let me get this other shit coin Correct. because that one hasn't run yet. And then they get burned on that and that's it. And they never end up getting Bitcoin, right? And so that was how I was looking at it. Anyways, we bumped heads. We were beefing. And that went on, I don't know, some weeks or something. And uh, uh, I think you, you know, you, 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 I think you kicked me out of a, a, a clubhouse or something. It was, I, it was wild. It, it was wild. It, you know it what got, it was? Got, got <laughs> yeah, not, not to cut you off, right? Not to cut you off. It was kind of like that was like how I discovered domains. Like my background is in influencer marketing, and um, you know, when clubhouse came around, we're all sitting at the house, had nothing to do. It was the pandemic. Yeah. And I did a room called um what is digital real estate my intent at the time was you know i had the shopify stores that we were building for people kind of like a done for you e-commerce play and i wanted to sell some stores you know for a thousand mm -hmm. bucks or more and this guy ryan colby came in and said i'm a domain broker and i've sold over 75 million dollars worth of domains of course i knew what a domain was but i never heard in my life Someone called himself a domain broker. Um, this is 2020, by the way. We're going on five years now. Um, yeah. Late 2019, early 2020. And he was like, I'm a domain broker. So, you know, the, the path was, Clubhouse was very fluid. And, and it was just, we're having a natural conversation. And it was in front of a lot of people. And he talked about how he sold Instagram their name. 
And he mentioned you, although I'm, I'm, I'm still learning the, the biggest domainer is this guy named Drew Rosner. And so, you know, I'm connecting all these dots and I'm learning very rapidly. Like this is a whole industry. Like they kept this from us. So I was sort of like surprised and excited. And that was where the passion for domain started. And the first domain, um, real domain that I felt that I bought with the intent to sell was Miami.club. Because mm-hmm. he, 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 he analyzed how the, the clubhouse space emerging could be, speculatively, could be in the benefit of Duck Club. So I said, okay, mm-hmm. let me see what's available. I picked up Miami Duck Club for 800 bucks. I picked up Atlanta Duck Club for $800. So I was wearing the Duck Club jersey from the start, right? And so there was a bias there, to be frank with you. And then one thing led to another. I met Colin from Duck Club, and we had so much impact. On Clubhouse, and we ended up, I ended up doing some paid marketing for them at the time. No, mm-hmm. no, yeah, they were in conversations to sell to GoDaddy. Um, yeah. And people were coming in, and you know, dog clubs at the time were $1.99. And the narrative was, you know what, be very careful what you buy. But people wouldn't listen. They were buying all type of crap. So we're openly analyzing them and calling them trash or cash. And so yeah. you guys came in and were like, Oh, this is all trash. And it was like, you don't even know what's going on. Like, we're, we're all trying to figure it out. We're learning. And so yeah. when you came in, it was like, oh, I'm the big dog. And it was like, we don't care about that. Yeah, no, I, we're just no. trying to get in. <laughs> yeah, I, I came in. I came in scorched earth, no doubt. Uh, but anyways, my, 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 where I was going with the story was uh, the positive aspect, which was that, you know, we, we beefed, we're button heads. You know, you had your way. I have my way. Uh, but I had written you off. And then I don't really remember what happened. But like a few weeks later, a few months later, probably a few months later, uh, we had reconnected somehow. I don't remember exactly what happened. But you were a big dude. You just you were like, I was wrong. You were right. I'm trying to learn. And like, I think that that's like the best example for somebody to set not just in the domain industry, but in our society today. It's like everybody should just have an open mind to reevaluate their beliefs, to listen to somebody who maybe knows more than you know, or certainly if it's somebody that's in an area that you want to be in. But anyways, the point is not I'm right, you're wrong, none of that. It's it's that, you know, uh, you turned lemons into lemonade and uh man i've been watching you come up ever since and so uh i think you're one of the best lessons to come out of the domain space in the last few years because i don't know anybody else that 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 you know came into this space cold from you know in the last 4 years and made the come up that you have and you've been super transparent on social media sharing your wins and your losses telling people what you're doing And I think that's great. And I think that's had a big impact. And I think that's brought a lot of new people into this space. And so straight up, I commend you on uh, uh, everything you've done over the last few years, man, because I think it's had a lot of positive impact on the space. So uh, I appreciate that. I recognize the opportunity. You know, when when I remember hearing about how you sold Metaverse.io for, what was it, 180 grand? Um, You know, know, those, those numbers just seem crazy to me, right? I mean, I have a background in crypto. I've been in crypto since 2017. And I was like, if I could just figure out a way to buy some domains and invest in crypto, that would be it. And you remember, I, I had a background in real estate, lost my ass during the, um, the you know, the George Bush days, yeah. you know, lost a bunch of houses and stuff like that. So I was like, this is so much better, right? I just, I, I had I had real life experience to compare with. And I was fortunate to meet Ryan and buy that by that introduction, meet the industry, um, meet people mm-hmm. like Colin. And then I went out to meet people like Rich Schwartz because I was intrigued by the space. I was like, I'm coming out to meet you, man. Like you, you got to give me an interview. And I interviewed Monty, um, interviewed, um, you know, Jeff Sass. I, I was so eager to learn about this crazy industry that was so amazing, but wasn't in the spotlight. And so mm-hmm. that, that to me was what I saw. I saw, I felt like I stumbled into a gold mine and I wanted to learn how to extract gold from it. Yeah. 
I think that's a dope way of saying it. And I think one of the big mm -hmm. things is, is that everybody's got their journey of how they got here, right? Some people flowed into, um, you know, like through some a corporate path, which is kind of how I did it. You know, other people that had to do it by trial and error, especially on the domain investor side. And really, that's how Drew did it, right? Drew talks about how he had to lose $200,000 investing in shitty domains. 300. You know, 300. $300,000 in shitty domains, pigeon shit, as Rick would say, right? Um, and uh, because it's not an easy, it's it's a lucrative business and it could be and it could be great and it provides a great lifestyle. There's a lot of stuff that Shane talks about, um, but it's not an easy like, and it's repeatable in its own way, but it's like the way history doesn't repeat itself, but it rhymes, right? The domain space is very much like that. And, um, you know, you've got to pay your dues, right? So and how that do it gets done, everybody's path is unique. There's no like, oh, here's how you become a successful domain investor and da, 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 you know, and like, that's why I always thought it was the thing, but the people who have persistence, you know, with along with like just some inherent skill of how to be successful and how to do things, you know, Josh Reason is an example. He's a newer guy in the space. who's done very, very well. He's a good friend of ours. He's obviously on the show all the time, our partner in DNX, um, you know, He's another guy who's just one of those dudes who just kind of, you know, hey, he's going to figure it out and, and, you know, to be successful. And, and he's made his way in the space. And there are a handful of other domainers that I've seen kind of in this newer generation and kind of this four, you know, five, six year window that you're in, you know, uh, who continue to have, you know, grow on their success and learn in the process and figure out how to crack the code in order to make this thing work. Because if you can make it work and you can get to where it like gets you you know, it could be awesome. So, you know, that's what I think is the coolest thing about watching your journey happen in real time is like, you're really doing it the way that it had kind of, you know, it's a success story for real. Well, thank you. I mean, I feel like you have to show up every day, right? You you can't just do this as, I mean, to grow, to learn how to be a profitable domainer, you have to yeah. invest in yourself. Like, it's a very expensive um, asset class. The learning curve is very steep and very expensive. Um, there are a lot of flashing. We're, we're trying to make it a little cheaper and a little shorter over here. Right. Make sure for like if I could do it all over again, I would have just said, look, Andrew, here's three Bitcoin. Um, tell me what to buy. But, you know, the ego kicks in. You think you got to figure it out. And, you know, it's like you're like, oh, you come up with all these forced narratives. And, you know, back then there wasn't anything like blockchain domain names. And I was, you know, you talked about losing 300 grand. I have a lot of enemies now because it used to be pro.eth. And now I'm like, this is all bullshit right and i said right dog i i i was the first you know listen, <laughs> i was like the pioneer to take the arrows from the ETH from the ETH heads right you know what i mean like right. I, I was one of the first i was one of the first early adopters i was one of the first people being like yo all y'all you know og domain investors we Looking should be taking this. a look at the you know web3 yeah. domains because web3 domains might be the disruptor and uh you know, and then I, I had a come to Jesus moment where I realized uh, that wasn't necessarily the case. <laughs> and uh, well, my, my comes to I Jesus. Took a lot of arrows. Me, I took a lot of arrows. Yeah, my cost me over 200 grand buying Duck ETH names and just really believing in that narrative. Because, you know, with the crypto background, understanding like the core use case is for wallet addresses. And I did very well with NFTs. I mean, seven figures buying and selling board apes and ape coins and you know i spent over two million dollars on nfts right i was really really addicted to them that's the truth right mm -hmm. just like i'm addicted to buying domains my girlfriend's like are you buying another domain i'm like oh, i'm doing i'm getting better at it, you know but um, <laughs> you're, you're, yeah. but but you know i, I think <laughs> the key the key thing that i've learned um is just stick to the fundamentals um surround yourself with people that you can learn from like you guys um because you guys made those mistakes right and um, you're not going to avoid mistakes, but you can minimize them. And so I made a lot of costly mistakes because I operated as a lone wolf. And once I realized, oh man, there are people who have already crossed this path before me. Like Shane would tell you, I'm always asking dumb questions, you know, because those mistakes are very expensive. I remember buying a name like CEO.live and the renewal was, was what was it? $3,000. And I remember telling myself, oh, yeah, I'll sell it before the renewal. When that fucking renewal came, I was like, what the hell is this? Drop that bitch. You know what I mean? So it, it gets expensive. And, you know, but at the same time, you're seeing people announcing sales and, you know, people's come up with all type of theories. And I, so I think it's really important for people to go to the conferences, network with people, have a community of people that you can run ideas by and to, to minimize your mistakes because you will make them. 
Yeah. And, you know, the dot E thing is interesting because it, look, it had its run. So people that kind of got in and got out, you know, there was also when they did their coin drop and, you know, all that stuff where, you know, there was real value. I mean, some people made a bunch of money, right? But people who bought in and spent a lot of money and then are going to hold because they said, hey, this is going to be the standard. This is going to be the thing. You know, a lot, unfortunately, with a lot of this stuff, you know, things are moving very fast and very fluidly in this kind of space, right? So, you know, I think there were points where dot ETH domains and still have value. They still have utility, but are they the kind of thing that people are going to spend crazy money to have a dot ETH domain if that is not the standard? And when you don't know what the standard is and you're chasing it or hoping that you can get out in front of it, you know, hey, I want to catch the next dot com and all that kind of stuff. Because then what happened was ETH starts partnering with GoDaddy, right? In order to give the functionality to dot com domains and i remember when we talked about that announcement it was like hey i think it's great that eth is trying to get that the dot eth is trying to get sort of the ens is getting that kind of traction and sort of visibility but in the process they're giving up their you know their special sauce and utility so that now what do i need a dot eth domain for in fact if you're telling me my dot com can give me all the benefits of a dot com standard web 2 address as well as all the utility of a web 3 address then why do i need your thing you know, and I think that becomes an interesting thing. And it's like, as those sort of shifts and things happen, you could lose your ass. I mean, that's why you got to be careful. But I even remember like there are plenty of big time investors, including Rick Schwartz, right? That lost a lot of money. Was it dot me? Was that the domain? Was that the extension? I think that he bought in on dot Moby flowers dot oh, Moby. That's what it was. It was dot Moby flowers dot Moby. He, I think he spent 200,000 for it and then he sold it for like 4,000. <laughs> well, that's what I mean. So the biggest guys can still take risks and have big, big losses, but you know, you'll know you learn from that. In record, I think I still own 800.moby. You still renew them? Yeah, it's just one of those things. You know, sometimes I keep shit like that just as a reminder that once a year when I see the renewal come up, it's like a reminder like, oh, yeah, yeah, don't, don't do that shit again, you know? <laughs> What was the narrative with Dot Moby back then? He was supposed to be mobile. Yeah, and that was when well, mobile yeah, like, it was started like, popping yeah, off. Yeah, it was because mobile was just popping off, and so it was like, oh, you know, your phone will have its own, you know, thing, or like, you know, you'll have Drew Dot Moby, and then that'll be like your contact page, and then everybody can like call you from there. Like, I don't know, I don't even remember what the Fugazi narratives were. <laughs> Listen, there's always a narrative. They're all Fugazi, all of them, all. If you just there may be an exception to that rule, but if you just go through your life assuming that all those narratives are going to be Fugazi, that applies not just here. That's like, okay, every alternative domain extension, right? Assume it's Fugazi and then work backwards from there, right? Doesn't mean they're all Fugazi, but if you just assume, okay, this Fugazi, work backwards from there, new crypto coin, it's Fugazi. Let's work backwards from there. Like, you're going to do better. You're going to do better. You're going to make less, you know, let's say fatal mistakes. But, um, well, risk is also sometimes you know, the only way to learn is, you know, get hit in the face with a bat. Well, that's, that's kind of good to know that stuff. everyone made those costly mistakes. So maybe that's part of the, the process, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. I still make those costly mistakes. Right. I came to work for Drew. You know what I'm saying? You talk about costly <laughs> mistakes. You know what I'm saying? Like shit. I think it turned out. Well, that might have been a mistake, but it, it wasn't costly. It was sure a profitable no, yeah, mistake. No, no, you know no what I'm saying? Sometimes you, sometimes you stumble and hit your head on money. <laughs> That's very true. Very true. Yeah, but honestly, but at the same time, I feel like there there are a lot of um, things. There are a lot of shifts that are happening, and you know, as much as you want to stick to the fundamentals, there's opportunity um, in those shifts because yeah. the architecture of the internet is not static. Right. So you're seeing more people, you know, like the dot AI thing that just recently started happening. Like that was an opportunity a lot of people dismissed because they stuck with certain fundamentals. And I feel like there'll always be those opportunities or those trends. But long term, um, I've I've learned from the OGs like you guys that, you know, nothing beats a premium dot com. And I try to teach that to people in the blockchain world because a lot of these people discovered domains through the dot ETH or unstoppable domains and, you know, full transparency. I, I, I am an advisor for unstoppable domains. And one of the things that I like about Matt is Matt is practical. Me too. And I was probably their first investor. I was, I was a CEO. Yeah. Matt, Matt is a super smart guy. 
is going to be at the Domain Expo. And he's now recognizing that the real future of domain names is adding this web domain names to domain names. Correct. So now they're trying to the future be, domain you know, names. I can name. registrar. Yeah, they're an I can registrar. They're looking at ways to add more value to the existing. One hundred percent. Well, and I think, and that's what's going to drive success, right? I'm a I, look. I'm a fan of Unstoppable. I think they're great. I think that you know the folks that are doing, you know, obviously Shane D three, the, what they're doing, you know, recognizing and Shane, why you know, I mean, this really is something you should speak on because I think the key thing is what's what's happening is it's gone from all right, hey, you know. We're getting all hyped up on, again, talking about a narrative that, you know, when you look at, you know, we talk about utility and where is the value going to be derived from? And it's looking at trying to understand the trends, but understanding where the real value comes from, from a utility perspective, who are your clients, who are your customers, how is this going to work? How does that drive actual use, adoption, utility, value, and all that kind of stuff, right? So Shane. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'll weigh on all of it because I think Ish and Unstoppable and all this all really is the same picture and it's this is all of this takes a lot of time to do and marketing and hype is is not going to get you there short term won't get you there so if you think you're going to come into domain names make a lot of money and move on that's not how it's going to work and it's never going to work mm -hmm. and it's also okay to be wrong but you're going to be wrong in a long process so you're going to be wrong during these steps mm -hmm. of a long process and it's not your past it's what your future is telling you to do now that you need to do, right? Like, so you don't go on what you screwed up in the past. You're going on as you learn your future saying, in order for me to do well, I've got to be patient. I've got to wait. I've got to buy quality. This is not going to happen tomorrow. And when it comes to Unstoppable, they were standing up on stage at our at our conference and telling us that domain names were bullshit and fuck I can, and we don't need you. Yeah. And we're alt root. And we are the new decentralized world. And we all laughed at them because we know that's not true. We know what Google wants, centralization. They don't want to put the bar. They're never going to allow that. So we yeah. knew that, that wasn't wrong, but that's okay because we love what you did, Ish. We love people trying things, trying to be innovative, trying to try new things. That's how we move forward is all of that. So by them coming into the space, by you coming into the space, it moves us forward. Even if it's wrong, it still moves us forward because intelligent people like you and Matt and all these will figure it out if you stay patient and stay with it. And you both have. Now we see domain names are the way. Marketing now, so so now we're to the marketing stage and now we're looking for the success that makes us real. So you ish are what I was looking for. You need the big sale that proves that you really know what you're doing. So as we build this character, you're showing amazing consistency, which is 90% of it. And then the other 10% is hitting the home run that gives you validity. When, when people start giving TED Talks, they give TED Talks because they had the home run. They were always brilliant, but they don't get to give it until they have the home run. Right. You've been working hard until you have the home run and you will have the home run that you can put at the bottom of your page, the seller of X or Y for X or Y. Unstoppable is looking for that too. They're, I mean, they're bringing out a million domain names, but there will be a domain name that they bring and get a TLD that will be a winner and that they will be able to lean into and show that. So none of this changes. It's all the same pathway. It's different people, different things, but we're looking for consistency, intelligent people, a little tumbling along the way, and then one big home run that makes gives validity to the outside that lets us move forward. And I think all of us are going to have that. And some of us already have. Drew's had that. He doesn't have to prove himself. I've gotten to the point where I've had a couple of big sales that I feel validated through time and through sales. You're you're there too. You're starting to have the sales. You're going to have the big home run. And then you're going to have shown all the work. One year doesn't do it. Two years doesn't do it. But four and five years of being showing up every day like you have, uh, it's perfect. And so again, that's how I feel about it. And that's what I love about you is consistency, uh, working with purpose and knowing that you will, you need to show true sales success and to go with all the effort you put to really can make the whole pie. And you're almost there. Like you're almost there. And I'm glad to be standing right next to you as that happens. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, for me, one of the things that I've done, um, that, has helped me is I've tapped into my true skill set. I'm a marketer, so I don't have a problem doing marketing. Domains are just another product. And, you know, if I can provide more visibility for 
domain names and the odds of me selling them increase significantly. So I don't have a problem with outbounding names. And, you know, I'm not the guy that's going to wait for a sale. I'd rather go get a sale. And I think that that's what's needed um, to sort of like shorten that learning curve and, you know, handle the rejection. It's part of the game. You get so much feedback oh, yeah. on why people say they don't want a name. Um, I woke up today to an $8,000 offer for a name, massiveai.com. You know, I bought that name on my way back from Namescon two years ago because, um, you know, I, I was like, oh, any any keyword AI.com, pick it up, right? And and then I felt like I was stuck with it, right? But I've been outbounding that name to a company called MassiveAI.io. And, you know, I counted the offer and hopefully I'll make a sale. But the point is, when you pick up good names, um, when you pick up good .coms, um, it's only a matter of time before you get an ROI. I'm a firm believer in that. And it all starts with that name selection. That's why people need to get educated. But when you have these names, you know, find a good broker if you've invested in a good name. Like, do what it takes to make mm-hmm. that sale. Because a lot of people just think it's about buying names and waiting. And I, I don't feel like as a beginner, you have that privilege. <laughs> yeah. Well, look, dude, I mean, you mentioned the thing we say all the time, you make money on the buy, not the sell, right? If you can select mm-hmm. the right name and get it at a good price, you know, you have to be willing to hold it or willing to go aggressively outbound. You know, it's one of the things that for media options is our secret sauce is that we feel like, and you know, and the results speak for themselves, nobody outbounds as well as we do. Right. And that's because you have to be willing to send emails, pick up the phone, do what it takes be told to go fuck yourself, get to a no. Yeah, it's just work. You know, it's just... Very few people want to do the work. Don't want to do the work. You said the work. That's that's, that's good to know you ain't that for you guys. (laughs) We just said a whole bunch of words between all of us, but at the end of the day, you said said it right up front, which was, you just got to show up every day. You got to do the work. Right. You know what I mean? Like, that's it. That's it. That's show up. I'm just going to outlast you. Like, I'm always going to be there. Like, I'm, I, I will outlast you because I, I I can wait forever. I know I'm old. I'm still like a good domain. I, and I know you guys outbound, but to me, nobody wants it more than somebody comes to me and wants to buy it. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's nothing yeah. more. There's nobody that wants it more. When I go out and reach out to people, they don't want it yet. You know, I kind of have to sometimes, you know, massage a little bit. But when they well, come to me, they yeah, want that's it. That's why I will look. And that's why we say when it comes to the big domain sales and a lot of the big names we have in our brokerage, I mean, be prepared for, you know, months long process. There's no, unless you're willing to fire, sell your domain, which we would never recommend. I mean, we get paid a commission based on, you know, it's a success fee based on what the name sells for. We want to sell it for the most that we can possibly sell for, which means getting it to the right, the best potential buyer who where who will value it the most. So therefore they'll be willing to pay the most. And, uh, you know, I mean, there's ways to alert those folks that the name is available and to find and, and find those buyers and help educate those potential buyers. Um, but the process is not a short one to get real high value for really good domains. And uh, it's how the sausage is made. But ultimately, like you said, it's about showing up every day, doing the work. The work works, right? But you got to be willing to do it. So, and, I mean, we're, uh, we're in an industry where you get paid off words. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> there's, a, there's an abundant supply. Yeah. Uh, there's a, you know, a wide range of combinations. Um, and I feel like it's a blessing to be in such an industry compared to everything else that's out there. You know, lately I've been <clears throat> thinking about my journey in crypto and my journey in domains. And I was like, I would have definitely doubled down more on domains than crypto. C- crypto is the highs and the lows, you know, you don't control the outcome, so to speak. Right. Um, you know, I, everyone's happy right now. Bitcoin has an all time high. It's at an all time high. I remember when Bitcoin went from, 14,000 to 3,500 and my friends were laughing at me. Like, are you still rich? <laughs> you know what I mean? And, 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 and yeah. so it's, it's, you know, the, to, to just be exposed to both asset classes is a blessing. And I feel like the, the cool mm-hmm. thing about domains is every domain is a one of one and the value is always in the eye of the beholder. So if I have a domain name and there's a guy out there that that name could change the trajectory of his business then I feel like it's my duty to connect with that guy. At least let him know, hey, hello, this name exists. You know what I mean? And then, you know, maybe he'll come to a, a Jesus moment and go, oh, I need that name. Or maybe that that might take some time. But if I, I feel like if I don't do that, then I'm it's a disservice to myself. Like every name that I own, I categorize. I go, okay, this is my, these are my grails. These are my whatever, right? And so like I own a name investmentportfolio.com. I feel like, to the right person, that could be a game changer because I've read about how 
market beat makes over $30 million a year. And I feel like a name like that could do the same thing, right? So just, you know, understanding what people have done and built with names helps and understanding who the potential prospects are. Because most people don't wake up and go, I want to buy a domain name today. But when they understand the value of a domain name, you'll be able to educate them on how the name will be an advantage for them. Then they, they, they reconsider it and take it more seriously. So that's why I feel like outbound matters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, dude, preaching to the choir. And I think it's great. <laughs> for that, sure. You know, but I think it's great that you come around on that and recognize it. Not a lot of folks do. And, uh, you know, there's a reason some folks make it and some folks don't. And, uh, you know, and I also, it's funny because you can tell that you're passionate and get the, uh, just the, the, what a domain is. And it's like that piece alone is, it's hard to pick up the phone and sell somebody on it if you don't believe it yourself. Right. So it's like, and recognizing the real value that these, the, these digital assets have. You know, we say it all the time. We're nerd, you know, we're domain nerds. I mean, we geek out on this stuff. Like it's, you know, in, in a space that a lot of people don't even know is a thing. You know, when I explain to people what I do, they're just like, oh, okay, so you sell the website. And it's like, no, not the website, the domain name, you know, the domain name. And it's like, okay, cool. So you just make them up. Is that how you do it? I, you know, I can help you make some up. I, you know, like, it's like, you know, no, I, I think uh, maybe you could provide some guy, you know, I, I thoughts or I was going to say guidance, but like thoughts on maybe what might be some, a popular term or something. I don't know. But that's not how it works. You know, it's not even, so it's just really funny. And then you get into some of the more, obviously all the technical stuff and then the segues into crypto. And I mean, it's just, uh, but real quick, and then we're going to move on to the domain game because we're, we might blow through our whole time and never even talk about actually one specific domain. Um, but the piece about Unstoppable, and this goes to what Shane was saying, I think that's what's really cool about them. I mean, they came out the gate, you know, they've obviously established themselves in the space. You know, they've sort of recognized, hey, where to bridge the gap in order to really find the, the right the, the right inflection point of, again, it's that idea of real value along with the speculation, you know, to build, a, you know, the customer base and to hit a real audience that you know, justifies a lot of what they're doing. We'll get Matt to come on the show. Maybe, I mean, we might even have him on as early as like in a week or two. Um, cause that's something that's been in the works for a minute and, um, it'll really be great to kind of hear their take and just see, you know, having been in touch and talking to him and working with them for a long time, you know, the evolution of their thought process, their vision, their goals and all of that stuff and how it continues to, you know, move in a positive direction that could actually really work for them. So, you know, yeah. So like it's I said, a lot I'm a of fan. Work. I can tell you as someone who does it daily, this bridge is a big bridge to build. This is. You know, I can't even tell you how much work we have to convince uh, old companies and new companies to come over to the other side to a group of not very many people. If you pretend that Web3 is big, you're kidding yourself. It's a big circle jerk and it's the same people. It's bigger than some people realize, but it's not that big. And if you ask most of these domain companies, they don't even make that much money on the domains. They are building companies. What, you know, Radix and Dynadot, they're moving towards building websites and helping businesses get online. That's their cash flow, not domain names. So then when you tell them we're moving it. So this is going to be a long evolutionary hard work process to bring this over, but you got to start somewhere. You got to work hard. So it'll be interesting to hear them talk. I'm on the inside. I can see it. I'm like, it can be done. It's going to take people that can bridge it's not going to be taking somebody that's over here that convinces the other side to come over. That's not how it's going to work. It's going to be a partnership. No. It's a partnership. And, yeah, 100%. Uh, and you got to want to work with some of the existing infrastructure. You just have absolutely. To, and I'm going to, you know, and that's like, why I'm the smartest thing Tyler these guys are doing tomorrow. is saying, Hey, let's go get some actual TLDs, some I can improve stuff. And then let's make that like, let's, you know, combine, let's cross the fucking streams. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then, and that's it. And that's so how when you, it's all said and done. Guess who wins? domains domains yeah, well, become more powerful domains get more utility the whole purpose is to make domains better and that's where we're headed do you guys think the new i can round is gonna dilute the value of domain names well listen here's the deal we had this conversation already right we had this conversation in 2000 what 12 uh no it's going to enhance it it's going to bring more visibility and it's going to uh, increase uh, the number of people that understand how important domains are. It's going to cause people to uh, make conscious decisions about the domain they're currently using for their business. It's going to increase uh, the availability of, let's call it starter domains, 
for companies to get started with with a catchy, smart brand. Uh, and then they'll eventually upgrade to the dot com with me eventually. But um, the reality is Join us. that uh, uh, it's kind of the old expression all press is good press. And, um, uh, you know, all domain promotion is good for domains, right? Like, so just uh, suddenly we're going to have, I think this is going to be a huge round personally. I think you're going to see, um, an enormous number of applications and, uh, uh, hopefully it'll be, you know, a little less messy than the last one. But, um, I, I think that there will be a lot of new options for people. And there may be some short-term confusion, uh, maybe some short-term dilution, but you're really not, you're really not, um, you're really not overlapping much, right? So, you know, you're going to have, maybe you're going to have some companies that were on the fence about making a big domain upgrade and they say, oh, we can now go get the, you know, whatever dot whatever, right? And so... You know, they, there's some dilution maybe, but it's short term for the most part. And uh, and I think actually net net, I think that there's just more new blood coming into the space, more new attention, new awareness, more new, let's say, intrigue, um, more investors, more everything. So, uh, you know, these types of things, this, if you think about the amount of capital that will be trading hands, between ICANN and Verisign and all these different new registries and the people that represent them and the funds that are going to be involved and the private equity that's involved already. And there's a lot of capital. We're talking about hundreds of millions of dollars probably in this room. So billions, maybe even billions. So I can tell you right now that the people that are big players have not talked at all. There, yeah. there's so much capital coming in yeah. for these, these strings. Yeah. You're going to learn what a string is worth this round. Yep. Well, mm-hmm. Yeah, because mm-hmm. I think that what happened last time, there was a lot of activity. There were definitely a lot of scene. services, a lot of stuff that went down in the fir- in the last round. Um, and the winners, you know, not everybody won, but the winners that won, won pretty big, right? They recognized it like, you know, and, and big shout out to Dot .xyz and big shout out to Donuts or Identity Digital and, you know, the folks that really crushed it the last also time around. Also, is the king of domains. Yeah, I mean, and that's the thing. Like, they really were playing, like, 4D chess in that and everything from the auction round because the way the auctions worked where, you know, effectively... Yeah, shout they, out Paul. Paul Stowera is... He's the dude behind the curtain. You know what I'm saying? That's... Yeah. He, he is the boss. Well, and Paul recently sent somebody along to us to, you know, to help them with, with something. So big shout out to Paul. Like he's, he's all big good. shout out to Paul. One of my favorite. Paul, Paul figured out and, and to just explain it to the audience, the last round people were paid to not participate. So the auction prices did not look like that much money on the surface because what went to ICANN was not that a um, big amount, but people were paid millions and tens of millions to not participate and not enter the auction this round, that will not happen, or supposedly will not happen. Yeah, they're limiting. They're saying no private did, don't get, basically. Yeah, no. so everything's got to go to ICANN. ICANN wasn't going to. ICANN didn't make any money on that, so they're like, no, 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 no. Everything's above board, and if we yeah. find you're above board, you're out. So we'll just take um, your string. You're going to see. Your you're going to see hundred. Some go for hundreds of millions of dollars. I have no. Well, doubt. There's a few that we still haven't even. We haven't even seen Dot Web get released yet. You know, and that was the yeah. one that I was involved with at web.com. I mean, that was back yeah. when I was still in the legal department there putting together that. And we had that partnership. I mean, we had a whole deal worked out. And like, so there was a lot of stuff, um, you know, as far as with the folks that we had ended up uh, submitting our application with and uh, for that. And, you know, so there, but yeah, it was, it was kind of nuts. It's going to be even crazier this time around. But I just think also is, you know, when you, as, as a domain, as a dot com maxi, right. I feel good about where we sit, kind of like being a Bitcoin maxi. It's like, yeah, are there meme coins that blow up and people make a thousand X? Yeah, of course. But, you know, there's a slow and steady kind of vibe that like at the end of the day, I don't mind riding that tortoise all the way to the finish line and uh, be perfectly comfortable, you know, because it's funny. I think a lot of people and you see it online, like, you know, everybody pumps there like, oh, man, I just made, you know, 20 X on this shit coin and this and that. And like, let's all retardio and all this kind of stuff. And, you know, like... 
And like, yeah, you catch those waves is great, but I can't, I don't like discord. I don't like spending my time in that bullshit trying to right. grind in the trenches. Like somebody the other day posted somewhere like, what does that actually mean? And they're like, you got to be in this thread in this chat and talk to these people and follow those people. And I'm like, look, I'm too old for that shit. Like, give me the slow, steady Eddie. That's ultimately going to earn me, you know, three, four X my money. I got enough in it that it's meaningful. And it's like, meanwhile, the success of that will drive everything up. And will I help love us. how, I love how, I love how dudes talk about, you know, just give me a little, just a little three, four X my money. You know what I'm saying? I'm not asking for much, <laughs> just a little three, four X my money. That's all. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying, though. I just mean that's what I'm saying, though. It's still like, hey, that's fantastic, and that's going to you know, be all good. Um, but I think dot-coms are a lot like in that same way, right? And uh, although the returns on a good dot-com for what you could pay for one for what you could sell it for are much better than that. And you know, we're shooting for 10, 20x on almost every name that we acquire. And um, you just have to be willing to wait. And, and that's part of the idea of being patient. And, uh, you know, so going back to what I was saying, and this is also part of the idea of what AI might do to domains and domain value, because that becomes a question and concern that we talk about all the time. To me, the thing that makes .com great, it's all about curation, and it's also just cutting out a lot of the noise, right? And and when people, you know, .com is the standard, and people want to know that where they're going in the internet is legit, right? There's too many scams, rug pulls, all this kind of stuff left and right. And, uh, you know, which is why cream will always rise to the top. And I think especially in this digital space, we're going to still be online so much and, you know, to be able to navigate that properly. So, and, uh, which is why all these other names will just almost create even sort of more that all that noise will almost drive the value of the dot coms up even more in my opinion. So. Can we, can we just call this episode cream cream, baby? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go cream rising <laughs> to the top and uh, cash rules, cash everything. rules, everything around me. Cream, get the money. All right. On the dollar bill, y'all. You can't say it, not finish it. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. So let's go. Let's go. Let's get let's talk let's about get some of that. Names. Let's get into the domain game. All right, Shane. What uh what you got? This will be when Billy has to put in the thing like timestamp and be like the domain game starts at hour number two. Exactly. Starts on episode two. <laughs> um I I bought a couple of names again. They're not too exciting. So I'm going to go back to the list. I also sold one. It was very tricky and I won't, I'm not going to discuss it, but I had it on Adam and I had it on after Nick and I sold it on after Nick. And, you know, they kind of play the, the, the numbers game. If you don't sell for a certain amount, you got to pay commission here. It got a little tricky, but it got resolved, but I won't say publicly, but I will say I love both companies. Everybody was nice to me when it was all said and done, but there, it is a little tricky when you put your names all over the board and they sell one place and don't sell another. And you got to, you have to be careful on that, but I'd I, like to, I, I, we'll I, unpack that offline a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's, um, but, but, but I will say when it's all said and done, I, the people at GoDaddy are, have been fantastic to me. The people at Adam are fantastic to me, and they realize we're we're all trying to make money, and I, I'll continue to try to make money, so we all make money. So uh, it worked out just fine, but there was a little bit of negotiation. But I sold names. I'm selling names. Adam and After right. are killing it for me. They're killing it for Josh. We're having good months. You can call it commie. I don't give a shit why. I just am. Um, but there was a name that sold, uh, care.net. Like uh, it sounds like a Braden top. Oh top. yeah. Did you see it? Do you guys know the price, or do you want me to move to another one? Uh, I know it was a lot. I don't remember exactly the price, but yeah. good. Let's see. Let's do it. Let's do it. If if you don't know the exact price, let's see if you really do. All right. All right. Hold up. And you and uh, Ish, if you we put it on our phone. Oh, on the phone. Yeah. Yeah, put it on the phone and then yeah, on, the this cal- way. on the calculator oh, and then you show your five last text and then your phone. By the way, that was actually like a recommendation by somebody, like a viewer, and it was such a great idea. Up to that point, you know, we're like gaming the numbers and going in an order and all that kind of stuff. I remember seeing it, but I don't remember the price. We just, yeah, we use our calculator and just put it in a calculator. Just well, oh, just throw it. a number, throw a number and flip it, man. It's all good, no judgment, except if you're way off. And then we're like, yeah, rookie. and I'm always way off. Drew always. <laughs> Oh, dude, I was pretty bad. Last episode specific. I mean, I'm always, I'm pretty, I'm pretty off. All right. Ready? Flip it, Drew. Let's go. Oh, man. All right. So, wow. You guys are like, all right. So, we got 30,000 by ish. We got Drew at 35,895. And then we got me at 100,000. This was a sale, right? Yeah. Sale. Care.net. Okay. 
Drew definitely was on top of it. It was 35-506. Uh, oh, damn. Oh, no. I actually oh, thought man. I undershot it. I thought it ended up going at like 50 or 40 or something. Oh, damn. Like you you almost won the Price is Right game and got all the, the screens. That seems a little, sh- a little fishy to me. That was a little shady, wasn't no, it? No, I mean, I was watching it. I was a hot I was a bitter. Seafood man I was shady, a, if you ask me. I was a bitter up to about, I think I tapped out at 15, 18, something like that. And I remember I saw it go to 25, and then I didn't really see it go past that. But I remember people were all blogging about it. Like, Yo, this is- oh, it yeah. was. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I way overshot it. You guys net. said, oh, that went for so much. I was kind of like, hey, you know. But- well, it's a dot net on a GoDaddy inspired auction. So, you know, yeah. 35 is pretty, yeah, yeah. pretty solid. Yeah. 50 would have been, you know, a lot, a lot. But all right, cool. Well, congratulations, Drew. I, it's one of those names. This is such a great domain name. You know, a care network makes sense. Care.net makes mm-hmm. sense. It's not just a, a, a kick in the balls like, oh, I can't get dot com. Get, you know, it actually has its own meaning. And so I think care.net is a really banger domain. I couldn't justify buying it because, you know, beyond the 15, it's like, all right, at 15, I'm pretty sure I can sell it for 75 to 150 in the next few years. Um, more than that though, gets tough. And so to pay 35, I need to be able to sell that for like 150 to 250 to really make that make sense. And, um, I don't know if we're going to get there. So I I, I back down, but it is, it is a hell of a name. It's a hell of a name. Well, and you got care.com out there, right? So, I mean, it's one of the best SLBs that exist. Yeah, does care.com give you any kind of pause around in investing in a name like that? Uh, I mean, it, it maybe it puts off other buyers to say, oh, let me go build care.net, but I don't think so. It's such a big space. You have, it's just such a big space. It's literally one of the biggest spaces that exists, right? So um, maybe health.net is a better domain. Mm. Uh but it was a bit health.net was one that sold wasn't that like a big name that sold it yeah time? yeah that sold not that long ago either yeah uh, uh health.net was crazy so big 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 name great yeah. name congrats to whoever bought it all right well that's what's up do we know um, who bought it shane no I, I haven't been to check the boards to see if uh, anybody we know bought it so um yeah I, I haven't heard i haven't heard anybody announce that they bought it let me let me look while we discuss the other name. All right. Well then Drew, you've got why don't you give us a buy or a sell? What you got? Oh. Uh okay. Every no, time. Oh, what? what? We're playing the domain game on today's show? That's weird. I've never done that before. I didn't I have no I didn't bring a name because I didn't know that we were gonna do uh, every single show. Too many options. <laughs> well, that, yeah, man, that's uh, the ish, man. He's hyping up Drew. He's giving him a little something, so that's nice. Um, all right, I got one. Eastfield.com. Eastfield.com. Is East this a buyer or Field. a sell? Uh, this is a sell. It's a sell. Eastfield, like Westfield, the mall? That's it. It's, it's just the other side of Westfield. Got it. <laughs> all right um i don't even all right all right shane ish oh okay all right so <laughs> He it did seem to switch like he hit the the clear button. Yeah, I saw. He, he, we saw that little he, thing. So yeah, all right. So playing. Shane's at seventeen thousand five hundred. I'm at That's twenty thousand. Ish is at forty eight thousand. For those of you who are listening and not watching, Drew, Ish goes to Ish. Ooh. Forty thousand. Forty thousand. Forty thousand. Nice. Damn. Forty thousand. Yeah. yeah, I know. I know. I know. Drew doesn't fuck around, so I figured just the higher the better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, that's great one. Yeah, Eastfield. I, yeah. I, he was sick, so I thought maybe he was having some <laughs> fever dreams and kind of let something go because he thought he was going to die. I want to get that last Bitcoin. Um, and uh, exactly. Well, that's definitely, you know, 
cash domains to cash to bitcoin what um well yeah so let's talk about the sale talk about what you acquired it for how long you had it all that good stuff oh man oh i didn't come prepared you know oh, you mean we want the information that we use on every show uh, every okay time uh all right ready so uh bought this domain i bought this domain yeah oh i, I didn't even actually know this, this is great <laughs> um uh we're all learning about uh, it shout out to my boy david down in texas and his son okay og domainers uh i bought it off my friend david in a package deal 13 domains that i bought for twenty five thousand dollars. so make of it what you will that included things like stop signs.com and uh i don't know inside outside pop-up campers primetime sports American Direct. Oh, right. BeSweet.com, Better Care. Speaking of care, Better Care. Better Care is another one. I, I, I knocked that one out of the park, too. And uh, I don't remember the exact numbers, so I won't you know, throw it out there. But it was a good number. I remember mid, mid five figures like that. And um, uh, so, yeah, so it looks like that package probably paid off, you know, five to tenfold already. Um, now I bought that in 2019, so five years ago, September, 2019 and 13 names for $25. So call it two grand, 25, so that's grand, a 20 yeah, X. Yeah. yeah. That's how you do it. 20 X baby. Look at the whole time. Right. I mean, that, and that, that's not an unusual whole time. You know, it takes, uh, and that's what it takes. If you're talking, that goes back to what yeah, you're saying. I mean, you know, that's not a, that's a short hold time. I would say, you know five to ten years what it takes well and that goes to the point where shane was saying like you know you're going to get you know you sometimes the best move is just to buy a name wait for somebody to come because whoever was going to show up wanting it they've already made up their mind you don't have to convince them they've already gone they've already made the big hurdle and at least put them in a position to pay at least what they initially offer you and probably some more um but takes a while you know you got to be willing to have that patience and to be able to hold out that long so congratulations good job yay um all right so ish gets the point who got the first point was that sh- that drew so drew ish ish what's your name that you got recent sale actually a big one for me um a dot org okay nouns dot org nouns dot org oh oh right. well this is so um, the nice after name. the election day really nouns dot org Nouns.org, you told me what you sold this for, so I can't um, participate. I Although I kind of to. know too. So, oh, uh, I don't know. Well, yeah, let me think. It's a good, you know, I, yeah, I know because we talked about it because I was happy for him. Uh, ah, all right. Yeah, yeah. Well, then, That's yes, you want to just tell us what you paid and then pick another. Do you have another name? Well, at least let me guess. Okay, yeah, I can tell you, I can tell you a purchase. I can tell you a purchase. Yeah, and let's I talk. Let's talk about it because it's a well, great. Hold up. I still yeah, let Drew guess. guess. Let Drew guess because here's okay. the thing. Well, right now it's going to be Drew and Ish have a point, and y'all are like, "Yo, yo, yo, little kid, you want a lollipop?" Nah, just playing. <laughs> All right, fine. Go ahead, guess. You guess. All right, now I guess I'm still be wrong, even though I Go think I talk- know. It. Hey, do it like on the game show and talk your thoughts out as you put your price. Thought t- talk. It. Yeah, since it's just you. Yeah, why'd you why'd you only choose that or why'd you choose that high? Well, um to be honest, the only thing that comes to mind is two things. Um uh and I'm only gonna mention one. And that that's nouns down. And uh they're probably, you know, the absolute well, number one, the best buyer, but also uh probably the most successful of all of the uh let's say decentralized uh i mean actually they're probably the most decentralized project after bitcoin i mean they probably are the single most decentralized project after bitcoin they're definitely the most decentralized of all the nft projects um it's a very interesting framework some really smart people behind it and um it's it's a pretty dope they they created really some really interesting 
um, theoretical frameworks that I think are quite uh, important uh, for you know the go ahead on on you know the whole concept of a DAO, a decentralized autonomous organization, on uh, the way their auctions work is interesting. The way the way the whole ecosystem works is super interesting. So um, that's immediately what came to mind. Uh, and if you sold it at 14, I think that's a good sale, but I think they also could have paid more, but it sounds like you sold it for a different price. Yeah. I sold it for 50,000. Uh, dang. 15. Oh, dang. dang. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. So on ish. Well, yeah. You got all of it. And, and, and what I, happened was they have to list, they have the name listed for 98 grand, whoever owned the name and they reached out saying, we want to buy this name. And, you know, I kind of went back and forth, like, what is the most you pay for it? And they said, well, we'll pay this much. Um, and I said, okay, you know what? I put an offer, which I, 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 I can't reveal because of the nature of the sale, but, um, it was in, it was like low five figures and it got accepted. And I said, Hey, listen, I can get this done for you for 50. Um, he said, do you accept crypto? I said, of course. <laughs> It helped that I own some nouns, NFTs back in the day. I showed him, I showed him this 10 nouns I used to own. So we were able to relate on that level. He sent me USDC. I sent GoDaddy their wire. They released the name and I transferred it. What do those go for these days? Because I, I, it's like the only NFT. Nouns are about about two two to three Ethereum right now. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to count. I'm gonna have to cop one. Oh, just man, are we about to get back in NFT well, real no, real? No, but I mean, not no. just like you know, project. Are we about to are we about to anymore? collect again? Is that what's about to go down? I, I still got I still got my punk. Which it was a vibe when it was a you vibe. Know, some, you know some, what I mean? Some apes and shit. But I um I uh uh it is um I always regretted not getting it now. And and it was one of these things. It was it was exactly what I was talking about with 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 you know, newbies coming to Bitcoin earlier was like, I watched, I, I actually learned about nouns when it like first watched. It was, I can't remember who it was, but it was like somebody I know that was like friends with one of the dudes and, and, uh, and somebody told me about it and I was like, oh, that's super interesting, but I didn't fully understand it. And things were just popping off on, on. It was expensive. You know, out of the, gate, the first couple ones. Yeah. And it was, crazy. yeah, it's they probably were probably Alan so, Dunn. Because Alan Dunn was into that. It might have been Alan because we were. Maybe. Yeah, yeah the full price is 2.59 Ethereum. Yeah. All right, man. Okay. Well, uh, you guys are going to get back in. We're going to get back in the game. Trauma. Collect the yeah. Trauma. <laughs> yeah, collect I always again. wanted. I, because, I miss it. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's interesting because it like, actually that, works like a DAO. Something. Like, like now it actually works like a DAO. Like, it I don't just. think any of the other DAOs actually work like a DAO. There's a cut, there's but a but Nouns yeah. does. There's this, yeah. Really? Because I don't think so. I think there are a few. But anyway, but let's, oh yeah, I don't know, man. I'm just I'm saying words, dude. I don't know. I'm just trying to keep it moving. The host job. <laughs> I'm saying, what are you fucking trying to fact check? I agree me, with you. Well, now I'm gonna go. I'm gonna have to come up with a couple. Time. I'll do some research. I'm just saying. I see people posting about different DAOs on Twitter and things as if, hey, this DAO yeah, just did this. Yeah, because people call themselves DAOs. It's just like you know, I don't know. People with penises calling themselves a woman. It's just, it, it's not a thing. That's just not a thing. Just because you call yourself a DAO doesn't mean you are decentralized. I mean, yes, I understand and I hear you, and that's an interesting metaphor. And we're gonna keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. After the talk this morning, about we should be more professional on the podcast. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, yo, I, I, I mean, I don't know. Like, no, I think I'm, I'm with biology is professional. It was, it was good. It's good work. All right, so here we go. Right now, I think what Drew and Ish have a point each, so we need a tiebreaker. Shane, do you have another name from the list? Um, it's boring, but hold on, I got one. Um, okay. This one was a sale, and it's going to be numerics, which are old school. Not three two Uh-oh. four three two four two. Ooh, three two, three, four, two, two. four two. All right, this kind is just Ish and Drew. Yeah, three this, two yeah, four we're two. We're in the nine 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 club, bro. Yo, three two four two dot com. Are we a dot com? Dot com. Not a dot e. Mm-hmm. That was a sale or a purchase. That's a sale. Yeah. Sounds like it was an auction platform sale, though. All right, twenty k, three thousand two hundred forty two dollars. 
So, Drew, you think that new, four number numerics are down to that cheap? <laughs> I I don't know. I, to be honest with you, I don't yeah. know what they're worth. I, well, I, I was I the only reason I said like is I was surprised grand. it went for this price. So it went for nine thousand and nine dollars. Oh, oh, why, Drew? I mean, wind, it's got though. fours in it. Like, oh, I don't, ish. Fours on, I thought so that. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, that was like within like two grand. That's awesome. That was, I, yeah, I thought that. Um, I thought that uh, it's the first time I won in a long time, by the way. <laughs> but um, I thought they'd go for like four or five grand unless it's got something real, you know, really special in it. Yeah. And this one's got a four in it. So that's why I've, I've well, I think it they're down repeating the three, two, four, two, probably. Yeah, three, two sounds like something that, you know, sounds you know, like something. It's funny because I rarely ever see any of those names in the wild. Like, I don't yeah. I, like people just sit on them like what's the, the what's store the, of value it's not that hasn't changed in in, in chinese and asian culture still love the, as collectibles they're not as hot as they were obviously before but it's still a store of value a, a number letter letter.com and letter number number they still crush it like they still crush yeah it. yeah pretty wild so all right well drew congratulations ish nice job man first first time on the show made it to the final round mention Next so time you get to the next time you get to win, get the hoodie. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm feeling that. Hey, for you. Uh, you know, we could just tell you you're going to get a hoodie. It's coming next year or two years anyway. So I'll just say hoodies I'm on the just, way. I'll set up for a t-shirt. I'm just kidding. Yo, for what it's worth, I hit up my guy with the uh, print shop, and uh, and there might, there's a rumor there might be you know some other swag coming that might be involved in a little ten with Jen. You know, so there's just you know Sherpa Island. Hold on, um, ten with Jen has private swag, like different might, swag. There might be something coming. I don't know. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Wait, well, what's, okay. I'm confused. I got. I just got to decide what size to get to. Do I bump up to the extra large? Do I slim down to the large? Like, I got <laughs> decisions now. Hey man, you know, please give I know. me a time frame so I know what to hit. All that of. creatine, you know, what I'm saying it. It takes. It's. It does its job. Um, all right. Well, that's the domain game. Thank you, y'all, for playing, participating. Good stuff. We taught. We knocked out some. Uh, some good things. Um, what was the uh so the last it was three two four two dot com was the last name so I know for the list to give it to Billy and that's what's up. Y'all didn't so, even notice that I put three two four two not only uh as the uh is that your price? price? Oh yeah, that's gangster. Y'all didn't even notice. Oh, yeah, notice man. That. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's gangster. Should have just gone one three two four two and then you would have won ish. You know what I'm saying? Would have been it. Yeah. I'm learning. <laughs> oh, it's all good. It's all good. He tried like to it. lose and he couldn't. That's, yeah. how, that's how good he is. He can't that is. That's, he that's, that's, that's 100%. <laughs> Media Options is the industry's leading domain broker specializing in domain acquisitions, high value domain sales, and domain name consultation. As pioneers and thought leaders on the subject of the domain aftermarket and domain name value, plus through their clear domain acquisition service, Media Options offers startups and established corporations an unparalleled scope of high-value domain options, providing access to domain names and curation technologies not available elsewhere. Media Options believes in the power of a great domain name and is dedicated to helping you obtain yours. Call or email today to put a domain to work for you. So... Here's the deal. We got some names uh, coming up. We're, we're going to slide into segment three, which is Name Jack Gonna Jet. We've got about, man, 15, 20 minutes, and then we got a boogie. But uh, section sponsored by Name Jet. We're going to review a list of domains coming up for auction, see what the Sherpas like, what they don't like. You can go to domainsherpa.com. You can pull the Excel spreadsheet that'll have the list of domains, the Estabot appraisal, some back, how many back orders as of the time that we recorded the show, when the ac- back order end date is, to know when to get your back orders in. $69 back orders in order to be able to follow the auction. Otherwise, you'd be putting in a live bid in auction if you wait until it's in auction. Um, although they're not private, so you do get to at least participate a little later if you miss the deadline. Um, and uh, yeah, with some other info as well that's hopefully helpful. Uh, that is the goal. So, all right, well, let's go into, uh, we're going to go into the list and we're going to give it to Ish first to talk about a couple of names. Got about 15 on the list, so we got about five to talk about before I shut you down. And move along to the next. Uh, to take one at a time and let us know what you think. Um, do I just? I mean, I like Aqua Farming to start with. I think that's a great name. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's definitely a big form of agriculture. Um, <laughs> it sounds pretty. Dude, you talked about the farming name before Shane could. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I really do. I I picked up a recent farming name that this is just more clear. Um, I think I picked up PharmaX.com. Really bullish in that name. Um, okay. aqua farming, I can see that just 
being sold. What, what am I supposed to do? tell you what I think it should sell for? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just talk about like, so if you're trying to buy it, if you like it, right? So, okay, I like this name. What are you trying to buy it for on Namejet? I, I would pay about eight grand for that. I feel like that's wow. an industry in itself. There's a lot of educational components around that. Those keywords. Um, I can I get one, one quick thing I'm going to interject on though is aqua farming. I also like it. I'll, I'll talk about it too, but uh, the, the real, the headline term is aquaculture. Yeah. Yeah. That's what fish farm. Yeah. That's fish true. That's so aqua farming, it, it is a thing. People say aqua farming. It is a thing. But the real term is aquaculture. Right. But it, it's big in Asia. It's big in Africa. Um, it's a global Everywhere. thing. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. um, I, I can just, I mean, a lot of seafood is done with aqua farming. They have like seafood farms. Or, oh, yeah. You know, um, even even like greens and stuff like that. So a lot of equipment around that industry. I, I, I would pay eight to 10 grand for that. What do you think, Drew? Shane, what are you thinking? The the people that will pay the most for it are exactly what Drew said. It's called aquaculture. So it's not even the term that they use. The common person uses aqua farming. But yeah, I, I, I don't think you'll have to pay that to get it, um, mm-hmm. to get that name. But I don't deny there's tons of money to be made in supplies, discussion, information, totally. social media. And that will play well to that type of audience, right? So if you're trying to produce content, that's going to play better than aquaculture. If you're going to try and get the most money for the domain itself, it, culture would be better. But if you're trying to monetize a domain, farming is going to work great. It's going to work. Drew, what are you paying for that name in, in an auction? Where are you tapping out? I'm probably tapping out around five because the place I feel comfortable selling that name is the 25 to 50 range. And so I, I don't want to be much deeper than five, probably, is where I'm at. But it's still somewhat in the but same. It, yeah. Yeah. So, all right. Ish, what else you got, man? What else you like? Or don't I like? like I like um, heart, heartscience.com. I think it's a good play of words with cardiology, um, health-related. Um, I think that could be, a, a you know, a healthcare-related name, medical devices. Um because it's such a high CPC industry, I can see that as a brandable. Um, you know, I, I can just picture a hard science raises 110 million in series A. Like it just looks like. <laughs> <a pose. laughs> yeah, that is seem like a, that's definitely a headline. Yeah. yeah it's not, I like that one. Um, I think that's the type of name that, you know, if you, if you're able to get a name like that, sub five grand, you do very well. I can see that being picked up for, I, I sold a name. It was Nygaard dot com um for a hundred grand a hundred thousand yeah. one dollars and it reminds me of that um okay. yeah so it's it's a really good name i think not guard isn't that it? i think that shit was um that was one of them i think that my guard was it's something like a peter Nygaard. it was i think it was one of the dudes involved in the covid scandal wait didn't you say night guard no it was night guard n-i-g-h-t guard.com it's um it was bought by a, a company that manufactures 3D braces. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. Night Guard so, is what you're saying, right? Like, thinking of Night Guard. He's thinking of Peter Night Guard. I know Peter Night Guard. Yeah, yeah. The perv. <laughs> yeah, but, um, her, you know, yeah, you're talking about like, you're talking about like overnight, like, the yeah, the, 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 the yeah, Night Guard. Guard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a dope name, man. I like how much you pay for that when, how much did you pay for it? Um, Night Guard, we purchased for, about thirty thousand and sold for a hundred. Okay, wow. All right. Oh yeah, yeah that was yeah, a while ago. Dude. Yeah, yeah, perv. Yeah, that's what yeah, I was looking at. Yeah, now I'm gonna be like, is this- so yeah. Hard science, I think, was um, I think hard science should be about if I can pick it up for five grand, I'll be a winner. Yeah, no, I'm totally with it. <laughs> you know, like the perv. That's where we are now. Um, all right. Yeah. So no, look stuff, at Peter right. Nygaard. He stole one of my girlfriends from me. True story. No, no like, you play it. Canadian billionaire. I had this pretty girl named Mimi back in 2005. And she was like, I'm I'm, I'm going with Peter Nygaard. He has a private jet and he has an island in the Bahamas. And, you know, I'm, I'm too big to cry, but it kind of hurt. <laughs> Yo. <And it> was, <laughs> yeah, Yo, she hey. left with him. Yeah, and he used to take all the pretty black girls in L.A. and do Sunday pamper parties. And if you Google Peter Nygaard, you see him, uh, he got convicted for 
sexual assault and all kind of crazy stuff. Yeah, hey, man. yeah all kinds of shit. Bad things yeah, like happen to bad icon. people sometimes, man. It's nice. Damn, you know? uh, Drew, did you Wikipedia yeah. or something? You, <laughs> how'd you go? Do, how'd you go deep like that? <laughs> What's crazy is Ish knows him. Who Who makes the reference? Well, he was a terrorist in L.A. He he stole everybody's. Well, he started talking about the name. (laughs) I pull up a name and Ish says he stole my girl. I mean, come on. (laughs) That's crazy. Yeah, it was like 20 years ago. (laughs) That's wild. I just remembered that name, Nygaard. I was like, Nygaard. I remember the name Nygaard. I remember the name Peter. He was sentenced to 11 years. Bad association. He's an 83 like, year old I serving. He can get out when he's 94. Is Drew going to pull out the guy that pushed me off the teeter totter in third grade because I want to go there. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> off of some random domain reference. That's wild, dude. Well, hey, man, you know, um, you know, sorry, sorry that happened. happened dude. Dude. That, that is wild. Sorry that happened. That's crazy. All right. All right. Give us one more and we'll keep him <laughs> <we'll keep you laughs> moving. <laughs> okay. Let's go with sportstherapy.com. Um, okay. You know, an industry that shit was not on my bingo card for sure. Like, <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. Yo, yo Peter yeah, Nygaard that, stole yo, my girl. Peter Nygaard, he's like, yo, no, but that, yo, that, 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 that child molester dude, he, he stole my girlfriend. It's like, <laughs> what? That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, and, and true story. That's life, man. You know, that is, yeah, that's, that's, that's yeah. wild. She was for the yeah. street. <laughs> <laughs> tells me, ah, something yo, tells me yeah. you got the better end of that stick. Yeah, dude. He yeah, dodged but, um, the bullet, man, for real. Yeah, sportstherapy.com is a great one. Um, clearly very self-descriptive um great amount of potential prospects of end, end users um an industry in itself very self-descriptive i think sports therapy should if you can pick that up for about i'll, I'll pick that up for about six grand i'll be super happy mm-hmm. um i can see that selling for about 60 grand to a hundred thousand all right i'm with it man i dig that name too all right, uh, Drew, Shane, who wants to take the list now? Go for it, Shane. I'll go. Um, so, yeah, some of these hit my wheelhouse. Like um, the the heart science, I was working with a company that was an AI radiology that specializes in heart radiology, and we were trying to find a name from them. And the cardia, cardia heart science area is very expensive and very taken. There's a lot of – they would have died to have this name. If this name would have come up, Fifty hundred thousand would have been taken easy because that's what they that's what they specialize in. It would have really, really nailed it. They went with a Cardia type name to go, but um, yeah, that's a great name. I'm in sports therapy. I run a, a I run a mission for orthopedic surgery and sports uh, medicine, and sports therapy is huge. Uh, it's matter of fact, there's lots of sports therapy uh, opening up because they can get the insurance money if it's a true injury and it's athletics and it's young kids. Everybody who is active gets hurt. So there's plenty of money. It's a, it's pretty broad. So it, you know, it may not be as much value to a local sports therapy company, but it's still a, a great for my catalog. Plunk is the kind of name I add all day. Mm-hmm. It's just a simple, Open vessel can be anything. That was my go-to, man. That was the one I love on this list. That's that's I will old I will take that shit all day. And and that's the one where I put too high a number because the numbers I can get for them are all over the board. So sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I just realized I misspoke on on Nightguard. I'm looking it up right now. I bought that for a hundred thousand and one and sold it for two hundred thousand dollars. Oh so, wow. Damn. Yeah, that's bold. yeah but the kid who bought it for me is like this super wealthy kid from Irvine. Um, he owns a company called Stingray. He's done very well. Um, yeah, my NFC buddy, and right. he, he um he wanted that name. He was obsessed with it, and he was yeah. like, "Okay." So I remember paying for that at the auction. I was freaking out, like, "Oh my god, what if this guy doesn't pay me? I'm gonna be asked out." Ah. <laughs> that's a, yeah, yeah, solid. Um, yeah, I mean, and those are those night cards. I know that, you know, keep people from uh, grinding their teeth, all yeah. that yep. kind of stuff. Yep, yep, that's what they do. I'll wear one. Um, I actually bought it from nightcards.com. No, um, all right, I, actually, Dope, my- yeah, I agree about Plunk, man. I mean, that's one of those names that's like, you can, you know, what do you think you, What do you think that goes for in Namejet? You think that's like a $7,000 name? You think, what do yeah, you think? Yeah, I think, I think, I think there's a lot of people like Drew and I on that one. And it's, yeah, I think it goes for, five to seven to eight i mean Normally, it's such a dope yeah sell it for 200 i mean less than a, 10 less than yeah. 10 more than five yeah yeah 
And, and I, I buy names it's... like that all the time. And I over quote overpay because it doesn't like they're like, who's your audience? I'm like, everybody. That's why I paid everybody. so much. <laughs> I mean, that shit could oh, be yeah. a mobile phone company. That's yeah. You know, that and and it's me, not, plunk is, like, for me, it's like like I don't know. It's like making money. Plunk. I want to hear that <laughs> like gold coin hitting the, the bottom of the bucket. Yeah. <laughs> plunk. You know what I'm saying? Like I plunk. You. I love that shit. <laughs> Plunk.com. It's literally one of my favorite names I've seen come across names yet in a minute. Like, yeah, that's the same with me. It, to me, that's a one word dot com. Like, you know, they're not going to call it that, but it still is because it's yeah. mm -hmm. it's a beautiful and I yeah. guess a, it is a one word. The other one that uh, you're going to kill it with is seniors dot org. Like that's that category. If you have the right, whether you're selling senior living, like you could crush it with that name and or gives it so much authority and history and it really mm -hmm. you know and again i won't get too off on a tangent but you know i was trying to tell somebody the value of a, of a really good domain name and i was saying you you want to know the value of the domain name you answer my email and you don't even know who i am because this email was such a good one word dot com and he's like that mm -hmm. is true i answered you because i emailed him with botany.com i'm building that botany and he answered it he would never answer it if it was Joe Schmo's plants.net. I guarantee he wouldn't. Have. And same with the social media handles. When I comment in the social media handles with a with the dot com and a in this matching short media handle, immediately they comment where they never would. So that the power of all this will show when it comes to uh, reactions and response rates and all that. There's just way more than we can ever talk about as to why they're good. But anyway, um, seniors.org, you put that in your email and you're like, is that the government emailing me? Is that an old company? Like you just assume the other side of that is some dude that knows what he's doing. It, or won't, <laughs> you know? I mean, yo, you couldn't have said that better. And I agree. I mean, that's a really nice match of left and right of the dot. And, uh, you know, the dot org on that particular, like, you know, fun uh, fact, you know, uh, Paige Howe, another friend at Domain Sherpa, uh, right, and just an all around great guy. Um, uh, Paige Howe's big come up in the domain space was selling seniors.com. And I think he sold it for like $2 million, I think. It was either $1 million or $2 million. I think it was $2 million. But it was, it was you know, this was back to 2000. Yeah. Five, I'm going to say six, you know, early days, early days when there was not a lot of seven figure domain sales happening and Paige popped off seniors.com for uh seven figure sale and uh rest is history. Yeah. Well, if anybody deserves a big sale, it's, it's, it's Paige, man. He, he puts in the work and the smiles, right? Like he sure he, does. He always keeps it coming. So I'm, I, yeah, I'm another dude that brings positivity. He does. Yeah, man. I, I if love, you're I love a bad Paige. day, call him. Paige, Paige, Paige has been a, um, a a real big brother to me in the space. Um, last year, when I launched Domain Expo, Paige was one of the most supportive people. Um, he moderated like half of the sessions. Unfortunately, he won't be there next month when we have the second edition in Vegas. But Paige, man, if you're listening, I love you, man. Great guy. Um, just Great guy. Overall, just awesome human being, open-minded. Um, mm -hmm. And very humble for the level of success he's had in domain. And, and Paige is a D-Gen, man. He's, he's playing with the meme coins. Now. Oh, no, Paige, <laughs> is, Paige, Paige is like a hardcore D-Gen. Right. Paige, Paige, is, Paige was maybe one of the first domain D-Gens. Paige was D-Genning on domains when nobody even knew how to D-Gen on a domain. <laughs> yeah. He's in areas I didn't know there were areas, right? Like, I didn't even 100%. know it's out the fence where he's playing. So I remember one of the first domain conferences I ever went to. So this is probably 2009, something like that. You're probably nine. And I remember I met Paige and Paige is telling me, I don't remember how many domains he had at the time, but it was a lot. It was like 50,000 or something. And I was like, damn, like, what are, you know, talking to him, like, how'd you do that? You know, and I didn't know shit back then. So I'm asking him all these questions and I was like, you know, I said, how do you even come up with these names? And he's like, I remember I was like, you know, it was that kind of an aha moment for me, but he was like, yeah, you know, one of my favorite things to do is just go into Best Buy and walk around Best Buy and like literally every single product I see, I just like check if the domain is available. And uh, I was like, wow, that's a great idea. And then I literally, from that point forward, I literally just started like 
every conversation I have with anybody, anything I read, anything I heard, I just put a dot com on it and went and check if it was available. Uh, either to register, you know, register or, or, or buy for a good price. Um, but uh, yeah, shout out Paige. Oh, dude, you shout out, man. And you shout out, what's Paige's daughter's name? I, I should know. I, I Again, I, I love know. the energy. And the... All, like, shout uh, out Paige's daughter. Shout, shout out, out Paige's daughter. daughter. That's what's up. Um, That's it. CPF. No, CFP. No, CFD. CFD. I don't know. CFD, yes. right? Something fashion and design. What's Clothing, a... fashion, and design. Oh, Clothing, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's it. Or Julie, I... my name is Julie. Julia. Julie. That's it. Julie. Julie. That's Shout it. Out Julie. To Julie. Julie well from the Chicago. Shout Fire out, Julie. <laughs> she what? I always called it. I thought it was Chicago Fire Department when I saw CFD. Uh, <laughs> well, it could be, you know. Yeah. Um, so they could yeah. they could repurpose. Okay, it. let me go one. I'll go one more. I like YPR, but it named Jet. I get. I just feel like it's going to get renewed right before I bid on it. Yeah, so it's I, possible. It's, yeah, they don't. Hope they don't. Springs eternal, it. man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I. <laughs> I do like it, but I don't. I don't put any energy into until it hits the auction side, and then I start putting energy in it. I feel you. Know, that's that's the on those. But all right, Drew, why don't you bring us home, man? Talk about two or three, then we'll run through uh, grand closing, and then we got then we got to roll. Yeah, I mean, on this list, I'm pretty much all in on Plunk. Um, but, uh, Plunk. you know, I love YPR. YPR is, is, Plunkadelic. is good. You know, YPR, it's a little close to YPO, you know, the Young President's Organization. Um, you got, but YPR is a great one. You know, it's PR. It's like public relations, like young public relations. You, you know, it could be Y. Anything starts with Y. Not that there's like a ton of things, but you know, could be yellow, could be, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, Yuri, your, your public relations, yeah, your, mm. you, young youth, you know, young town, mm. Pennsylvania, who knows? Anyways, um, um, uh, those are the ones I really like. Um, but seniors.org is a banger. I kind of like Car Broker too. You know, I feel like there's a lot of new, let's say, curated uh, car marketplaces, auctions, et cetera. Uh, you got, uh, I don't know if y'all are into cars, but the, you, you got this one chick. I think she's the number one influencer in, in the car world called uh, uh, Supercar Blondie. And uh, 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 she's got, a new website called sbx.cars, I think is her thing. I think it's sbx.cars or sbx.auction or something like that. But she's got a new curated uh, auction for, you know, she's only doing like three to five cars at a time, but these are like the illest of the illest of the illest cars that exist in the world. I go there every day and think, damn, I just want to buy that car. Um, I know, you sent me the inks. Yeah, it's just hot. Just some <laughs> fire. Just absolute fire cars on there. You got, Anyways, you got a spot uh, for one car. You got a spot in the garage. I saw it. You got one spot. Yeah, no, no, no. I mean, look, it, it, you know. <laughs> spot I'm, there. I'm like, yo, I can up. easily set him up, up out here. Just, you yeah, know. It, it, we're making some moves. We're making some moves. There's, there's, uh, yeah. there's, Post up. I'm going to be driving. Like, I have a, I'm going to have a fleet out here and be ready for whenever Drew comes stateside. Yeah. But, uh, you know, just. We, you know, you gotta be patient. You know, what I'm saying everything has a time. Man, so it's like, like, well, everything has a time and a place. You know, what I'm saying. But uh, uh, yeah, all right. So put a little bling bling in the thing thing. Put a little bling bling in your thing thing. What what else you like? Any others before we uh, wrap this up? Uh, that we haven't already talked about. Yeah, I mean, the ones I highlighted were the aqua farming. We talked about that. Car broker is kind of like a little punt. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to put a lot of money into it, but like, you know, for 500, maybe a grand, I buy car broker and I think you sell that for 10 to 25. Um, Heart science is a banger, uh, but it's probably going to go for more than I want to spend. Plunk is the one I really want. Seniors.org. We want the plunk. we want uh, that sports plunk. therapy also. Those are the ones. So yeah, I think we covered all the ones I like. And healthy travel, I think we had last 
week, maybe, or maybe possible, man. I might throw it, it on was, the list. Uh, yeah, I mean, look, there's really nothing on the list this week that I wouldn't want to own. You know, it's really funny. Uh, when we do like two weeks in a row. It's like the list starts getting a little, you know, kind of thinned out. But then when we don't do a Sherpa review, like last week, we, you know, we do a rabbit hole or whatever. And it's like all of a sudden, you know, the list starts to populate a little bit better because we got, you know, yeah. It's, 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 I mean, even like, like the weakest name on the list for me is like probably either A U C Y Aussie. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's still a four letter, right? It's still. Yeah. Decent four letter, pronounceable, arguably pronounceable. Um, you know, you got hypnosis therapy, but that's that's still a thing. That's a good domain. So I wouldn't want yeah. that. I don't ever know what to do with those. I like Minneapolis. Yeah, I mean, I, really I hear you, but you know, Uruguay, though, Uruguay's mean, fire though. Yeah, but I still, I still, uh, I still, um, I still mess with, you know what I mean? Like I'll still buy a, a geo.net when I see it. Like, I- I just, still fuck just, with I still fuck with GeoNets, you know. Geo. Yeah, it's kind of like you know what I mean. It's like, <laughs> like it's like I can't I can't like, every time I try and get out. It's like the high school. Back. It's like your high school sweetheart that you don't mess with no more, but you come home from college, you're like, you know, dude, it's like the girl from still, Irvine. You think you like give her a call? She leaves with a pervert. <laughs> 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 but uh, oh, yeah, <laughs> still. Uh, Still mess with so, it. so which one is which Still one is your favorite in the whole list? I think for me personally speaking, you guys like Plunk. I think Seniors the org on second thought is just that's just a, yeah, it's a banger, yeah. an absolute banger. Yeah, I'll take either one of those if somebody's giving them to me. Yep, but those are the two best names in the list. Yep. All Can right. Well, see? Plunk is dope, so it's like you know Plunky Town. Uh, Daft Plunk. Move Plunk, a little AKA. money now. That- now Drew reminds me of your recent sale, funny. Shane. Clunk, oh, was, me? Reminds oh, me of your cluck. recent sale. The what was it? Clunk, cluck, cluck, like a chicken. Cluck. Oh, cluck, yeah, yeah, that was, it was great. Sale. Thirty, so, yeah, and I got I, 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 I got some more of those exact type words. Like those words are just several hundred thousand dollars, and just got to wait for the right buyer. They're beautiful, beautiful. Mm-hmm. I just wish it was again. We talk about this all the time. You could have that name for a thousand dollars. You know, five seven years ago, people weren't all over those like they are now. Yeah. Well, it is what it is. All right. Well, look, that's what's up. That's Name Jet and the Jet. Shout out to Name Jet and appreciate you guys running through that list. I think Plunk uh, should be like a a, a a a marketplace. It should be like a marketplace where people can plunk down the Bitcoin and get hot shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like. <laughs> like a purely ego driven, absolutely ridiculous, like just whatever kind of baller shit that you could just like while out on. That should be what uh, plunk. Buy with is. the crypto games. I like yeah, it. just that's it. Plunk, plunk, plunk. Oh, Every time that shit on plunk. When you, oh yeah, yeah. When yeah, you, you hit buy plunk. now, when you hit buy now, you makes can, it makes that sound like, yeah, like if I noise. drop a gold coin into a pile of gold coins. Plunk. All right. Well, that's what's up. All right. Grand closing. Last but not least, let's run through the, uh, we'll start with you, Shane. We'll kind of see what, uh, anything you guys want to mention that we haven't already talked about. We'll close out with, uh, ish talk a little bit about Dubai. Yeah, the, me? the uh, uh, I think this will probably show after, but, but Josh, Josh.co and our friend Josh reason, um, we're doing a weekly spaces on Wednesdays at 2 PM Eastern. We're going to okay. try and do it regularly. We got Joe Styler on this tomorrow or what nice. Wednesday. And we're going to talk a little bit about domain education and building out seesaw. And we're just having some fun with it. Like, what are we doing with domain names? How are we buying domain names? Like just, just, uh, doing what Ish is doing a great job on Saturdays. I'll let him talk about that. But you know, I, we see what Ish is doing. Josh brings a lot. You know, Josh is a great conversationalist. I think he gets overlooked as one of the best guys in the space, not just because he has a British accent, but just because he's really well-rounded as a builder, as a domain investor, as a family guy. Like, he's got it together, just the whole package. So um, putting him on the stage, and he deserves more airtime, so that's what we're going to get, and we're going to try and keep that up on Wednesdays. And, uh, that's and of course, DSAD, looking at those lists every day, 15 straight years. You want consistency? That probably shows it. 15 years of putting a list out every day. No days off, baby. You know, so I love it, man. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, cool. Well, so everybody check that out. This this the show will air after the Wednesday, but 
going forward, it'll uh, let people know what's up. So, you know, get familiar. All right, Drew, what about you? Uh, uh, I just hoping to recover <laughs> quickly from here. <laughs> He's got that That's history. all I got. That's what's on the schedule of getting better. Getting, getting better. But, uh, it's like big time blocks sort of set us up. This was great. I was looking forward to it. And uh, I'm glad I could, uh, glad I could do it. Glad Ish could do it. And uh, Shane. And um, yeah, I mean, all good. I'm just, uh, I'm excited. I think, I think it's, uh, I think we got a, I think we got a pretty good year ahead of us. Hey man, I'm with it. Let's get it. Knock on wood. And then, uh, all right, Ish, talk to us, man. I know you're a busy man with lots going on. What you want to talk about? Yeah, every every Saturday on Twitter at 10 a.m. PST, 1 p.m. EST, I host a a, 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 pro, a program, a podcast, uh, Spaces, called The Future of Domain Names. And we've had Drew, we've had Shane, JT, you got to join us. Right. And it's pretty informal. We just kick back and talk domains. And then... I'm excited about my upcoming conference, the second edition, um, Domain Expo. So go to DomainExpo.com. I'm still waiting on Shane to confirm if he'll be a speaker. Um, in the future, hopefully Drew will join us like NamesCon. But, you know, Domain Expo is a labor of love for me. Um, last year, we had 100 people. Um, we'll probably have about 100 to 150 this year. It's shaping up. Um, and it's a good caliber of people. We talk domains and we network. We had very sign out last year, pages out last year. Um, yeah, so we just bring innovators and investors together. Well, tell them where it is. I said, why, but it's Vegas, right? Yeah, it's it's in Las Vegas, the address. Um, I decided to do it outside of the strip. Um, so we're two minutes away from the strip in a beautiful space called Industrial Event Center. Um, really, really nice decor. I don't have to deal with the union and all that mafia shit when you use the ball mm-hmm. in the hotels. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm all about that user experience. And then we're, we're going to kick it off the, the evening of, the, of December 5th at a gallery, um, you know, kind of like a meet and greet. And then I have a full intense, intensive day of domain talk and networking on, on December 6th. So yeah, looking forward to that. And then um, hopefully we'll. And, yeah. And where do they go? Domainerexpo.com. Yeah, domainerexpo.com. I, I think it was Rich Fuzzle goes, what is a domainer? <laughs> a domainer someone we'll put it on, you know, we'll put the link on the, uh, you know, in the show notes and all that good stuff. So everybody yeah. should definitely make sure they check that out if you're going to be yeah, able to come out of that. Vegas. Have a good time. Let's wrap up the year. We all need write offs and we need some network. There so, you go. Domainerexpo.com. <laughs> Let's go. So, all right. Well, that's what's good, man. Well, look, thank you so much for being on the show. I uh, would love to see you on here on somewhat of a regular basis. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to load up anybody's calendar too much, but you're absolutely welcome to come back and I'll let you vibe for a little bit before I start bugging you again. That's kind of how it works. And, uh, you know, it's all good, man. I appreciate you. No, I loved it. It was fun. Time. It this was fun. Great. Definitely bucket list stuff for me. I feel like oh, I man. just got an extra stripe on my domain or- uh, jacket, um, you That's know, how with the big dogs and survive. <laughs> Get the pin, yeah, I love you know it. I'm saying? Thank it's you like, so much for having me. Well, now nah, I appreciate man, those kind words and it, it means a lot to us too, you know, your support and, uh, and all that, but, but more importantly, everything you're doing in the space, because, you know, it, it takes a village and, uh, you know, it is the idea of just trying to, to, to grow the pie and rising tide, lifting other boats and, you know, and that's a lot of what you do. And uh, it's awesome stuff, man. So it's much appreciated, dude. Yeah, man. I wasn't blowing smoke at all. I really am uh big respect for, for your growth and uh, your come up in the space and the success you're having. And I love to see it. And uh, I legit love to see it and uh, appreciate you. Yeah, it means the world coming from you guys. Thank you so much. I'm home. That's what's good, man. And Shane, thank you as always, dude. And to the audience, thank you guys so much for Kiwi. tuning in. Oh, yeah, yeah. And thank Kiwi. you, Kiwi. He's been hanging oh, out. shout out, Kiwi. Shout out, Kiwi. Kiwi. Wait, what's, what hit us with Kiwi's, uh, what's Kiwi's catchphrase? Kiwi, we, 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 we. <laughs> Kiwi, we, 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 we. Let's go. Anyway, 29 years to- old. That, uh, uh, let me just say it. Birds, people don't realize when they get a macaw, that fucker's going to live 70 to 100 years. So when you get one, they don't like they you have to find another family member to leave it to. So evidently, I'm on that list. So I'm getting to know them. That's it, man. You yeah. guys, right now, it's like Shane and Kiwi's adventures. You know what I mean? It's like the trip down. They were like, 
Bonnie and Clyde doing some gangster shit on the ride down to Florida. You think you've made it, Drew, but you ain't made it till you got a macaw for 70 years. <laughs> I've always wanted one of those, uh, you know, the gray macaw with the, it's like gray and blue. That yeah, yeah. Fire. They look you know where so you can cool. get one of them? Plunk.com. Plunk.com. All the exotic <laughs> birds. <laughs> There's an Let's exotic, again, exotic I, everything. I wanted to talk about this. We won't let this go too long, but my dad and his friend bought turtles when they were like five or six years old. Those turtles are 75 plus years old. There's six of them. They still got them. They still run. It's the craziest thing. They like come to you like a dog when you feed them. And and turtles do not die of old age. There's never been a turtle that dies of old age. Those things can live hundreds and oh, hundreds. Yeah. I, I feel re- really bad I about remember. the turtle I had that died because I didn't I take good enough care about it. You killed it. If you, if you had a turtle that died. Oh, that's you- terrible. That hurts my heart, man. I had a turtle. That, and I grew up on a lake, right? So we had a turtle one time that I found outside and I brought it inside. And I used to just let him roam, right? He was probably pissing in the house and stuff i didn't even realize like i used to just let him roam around the upstairs and i would just find him in random places never thought like oh he needs water like he had it in the box but he yeah. never ended up in the box you know what i'm saying because he would just be like out and about so then the, the turtle died unfortunately rest in peace to the turtle and uh so i went out to the lake and i gave him a proper toss into the water because i'm like yo we're gonna do viking style you know and then uh threw him out in like the middle of the lake i come back the next day the turtles washed up on shore for a second, I'm like, yo, is he back? But he just washed up. <laughs> so it's like pet cemetery. It was really, it was kind of crazy. It was like a reminder of how terrible of a pet owner I was. So rest yeah. in peace to the turtle, man. I had a I, pet snapping turtle, and then my my neighbor down sounds the like a that sounds like dude, a broke in my thing. house, and stole my damn turtle. Dude stole my damn turtle. Wait, what? Wait, wait I hold saw on. it hey, at his saying? house, and I was like, yo, that's my turtle. He's like, nah, I seen your turtle. I was like, yo, that's my fucking turtle, dog. Uh, anyways. That didn't end real well. Uh, but I remember, it's funny, I never thought about how old turtles can get, but I remember on my honeymoon, my wife and I went to um, Moustique. It's a, a, a little, it's a private island, actually, uh, in the same thing, the Grenadines down there. And um, they got these uh, big land tortoises, and these things are huge. And I remember they were telling us, that, like, these things are all 400 plus years old. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, so wait, Ish, what were you saying? I'm saying the story about your turtle sounds like the story of Peanut. Um, yes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Billion dollar meme coin. So. I know, we should find. Yeah. I don't even remember my turtle's <laughs> peanut. name. Peanut, we are all Peanut. We are all yeah. Peanut. We stand, with, I, we stand with Peanut. I'd be willing to let Kiwi get to a billion dollar meme coin if anybody would like to launch it. I'd just like a little piece. Yeah, we could do it on Kiwi.co. Yeah, Kiwi.co, a new meme coin. We 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 probably have to kill Kiwi to get the empathy. You know what I mean? You got to not die. Like it's... Talk. Somebody's got to die. <laughs> like, oh, sorry, die. sorry, Kiwi. Or like, or that you put you start the thing and it pumps and then it drops and then you're like, yo, we got to get this going again. We need to make it. You know, Kiwi. Unfortunately, you, you know, it's not I, Kiwi. It's Kiwi. Kiwi, kiwi we we Kiwi. <laughs> <laughs> oh man funny. you know what i'm trying to be alive you know it's funny because like there, there's so much um people talk about crypto stocks and real estate and very few people outside of the domain echo chamber or say domain names and i've been mm. running these polls asking which is a better investment if you had a million dollars would you invest in domains or real estate and surprisingly maybe because of my echo chamber a lot of people are pick in premium domain names, but I think it's a valid point because, you know, they, they all have their pros and cons, but this is becoming a, an emerging asset class that should be in that conversation for sure. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You know, you know what the biggest pro is on a million dollar house in let's say, uh, you know, New York or California, <laughs> your income tax is 20 Proper grand a year. Rate. Property tax. Yeah, yeah property but, tax. Twenty five yeah. grand a year. On a million dollar domain name, eight ninety five. <laughs> That's, it. Yeah. That's it, man. The taxes, you know, the taxes will get you. But yeah, man. Well, look, you know us. We're always going to preach the gospel of digital real estate. And uh, without a doubt, I mean, it's done well for us. We've done well with it. But it's not easy. You got to, you know, to kind of go back to what we said, you got to keep showing up. You got to try to learn the lessons you can from the people willing to teach you and uh, surround yourself with good folks, you know, take some calculated risk and uh, enjoy the ride. But uh, 
but that's what it is. All right, y'all. Well, listen, I want to say thank you to the audience. First of all, you know, appreciate y'all tuning in. As we say on every show without you, there is no us. So hopefully uh, y'all enjoyed this one. If you did not like it or you had a problem with it, just hit us online, ask for a refund for what you paid. And we'll get that right to you. You feel me? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but otherwise we will see everybody next time here on domain sherpa where all roads lead to domains peace out y'all we'll see you soon all right thanks guys Bye.